Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to more evolution. <laughs> I wanted to play with the old shark again. Because, I mean, it's it's funny. <laughs> I like it when it opens its big mouth like that. And the old thing kind of bounces around. Anyway, uh, welcome back to another evolution video. We've got a couple cool things to do today. Now, a couple people have suggested that I make up a square again. Like, you guys really enjoyed the square movement? Because we did a square that kind of bounced and kind of rolled. But I thought we'd try something a little bit different. So this is, it's still a square, right? I mean, it's got four equal sides. What happens if we give it like a little bit of a tail? You know what, let's make this a bit bigger. And then we'll do a little bit of a tail and we'll connect all of this with muscles. Okay, so I mean, what, what could this do? My goal, my thinking is that it'll jump on its tail. Maybe we should put the tail on the bottom side, like so. My thinking is that it'll jump down and it'll try to run and run and run. And it'll try to go around in circles and it should spring. I guess that boink, it should bounce eventually right i need to give it more i need to give it yeah there it goes it's bounced on the tail and it didn't work too good <laughs> so population 50 there we go so it should learn a little bit better now uh see now some of them are starting to work some of them are starting to go yeah that let one at the end Ooh, hey after the first generation it got stuck it's not not exactly what i wanted i wanted it to go in circles and it should start rolling here is my guess this is actually kind of cool it's looking kind of like a fish it's kind of jumping like a fish would. It makes it interesting. Uh, I know we're only 10 generations in, but it's not working how I wanted it to. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over and we might make a little spring at the bottom. We'll kind of combine some things because we do have the, I think it's called the rue or the spring in the, in the game files. So if I try something like this maybe, I don't know what'll happen. <laughs> might as well try it. Oh, hey, they kind of move, hey. I should have put the tail flop the other way, maybe. Oh no, <laughs> that one was jumping. Yes, yes, it's a jumping. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. <laughs> now I'm wondering if it'll change. Eventually what I thought would happen is it's gonna rotate, kind of like that, where it would spring up and go into circles in the air. So it's starting to work pretty well. Um, and it's all they're all doing that same jump mechanic. I did increase the time to about 20 seconds. Ooh, that one, the one in the lead just kind of fell over. Where's my mouse pointer? There it is. Kind of hard to see that, isn't it? Mouse pointer, white on white screen. Anyway, they're, they're jumping up and uh, they're kind of like flying kites. I like it. It's not what I wanted. I wanted something that was going to be super fast and roll. I'm not sure how best to do that. Maybe, maybe a ball. I'm not sure. But I wanted something that's like crazy, crazy fast. Now, you guys also gave a good idea to try to create, let's see, this one goes to here. Try to create a two-legged animal. Now, this has two front legs. See that that's connected back here. We got one back and then two in the front. And if we do the muscles right on this, like connect that one to there, this is going to be a little bit difficult. And this one to here, then those are going to be the little feet. And we'll connect that one to there and then this one to here too. And then this one up here and then that to there. I don't know what this will do, but it kind of gives like a little spider effect and it might not do anything. <laughs> so probably need more muscles to even lift it up. Let's try these muscles there. Maybe muscles back to here too. We've got a wiggler. Oh, I attached I attached that leg to the wrong spot. Hey, or did I? What? <laughs> what was going on with that? Oh, there, some of them are starting to, no. We don't have any wiggles. Oh, there's a few wigglers. Okay, good. So looking at the replay, it automatically switches to go backwards. I'm wondering if we remove this thing in the middle. Oh boy, that's really a mess. <laughs> Well, let's just restart and we'll create a triangle in it. I'm also thinking I might need to move these down just a little bit. We'll see. Okay. Ooh, kind of. We have something. Move. We have movement. It might learn to pick up its feet. I can safely say it's not learning anything. It is still moving somehow, right? <laughs> it's moving on the screen some way. This is not working though. So how about we switch it to doing this instead? where we have two back legs and then one, ooh, one maybe leg like that. It's learned how to push better. That's about it. Uh, I could let it go longer and it might work, but I want to try jumping because maybe it'll learn to jump. Maybe, or not. <laughs> it'll just go in a puddle on the ground. Great, fantastic. Some of them have tried jumping, so I'm not gonna mess with this one anymore. If I gave it another leg on the other side, we might be able to get it to work. I wanted to do, since you guys seem to like it, I wanted to do just another random challenge. And let's try to connect things up here and just do a random, mm, we'll do that one up there and we'll come. I guess this will be a central point. Okay, 
Sure. And then it looks like we might have another leg here. We'll attach those. We'll attach that to there, maybe up to there, down to there, backwards, forwards, everywhere around. We'll just attach all the muscles. And then hopefully this one back here will propel us. We'll attach this to a few others in the front, like this. And maybe this one too. Okay. This is going to be a mess. It's going to be ugly. And I love it already. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, why do the ones that I just don't even try on? Move the best. <laughs> it's dancing. Wow, it looks weird. I like I like how it looks. They just flail all around. They do well. This is really amazing. At 22 generations in, we have an average speed of 2.5 meters per second. Oh, it went down. Sorry, it went down a little bit. But that fitness level is amazing. This foot at the bottom down here, though, that that's working amazingly well. It's just kicking. And that's doing most of the propulsion going back and forth. This guy here, he's not doing too much except keeping the rest of it stable. So I could learn a lot from this. Some of you guys say that the more muscles you have, the worse a creature is because it weighs it down. But if the muscles are put in the right positions, it works really, really well. Like this bottom one down here, contracting, expanding, it's doing fantastic. I just don't know what else to do with it. I guess letting it run more, I would get it maybe faster, but I feel like it's kind of flawed even still. So I'm just gonna go back. We're gonna delete it, uh, delete it, and I'm gonna try something else. Now, a lot of you guys suggested that I build a rocket ship. And <laughs> I don't, I really have no idea how to do this. I'm guessing like the best way to do it would be just to create something like this where it looks like a rocket and then join up all the bones into a lattice work structure. So if we, if we have that, and I do the jumping, without any muscles, it should just stand up. Yeah, it stands up. Okay. Now, I'm wondering, so the problem is that, like, all of the muscles are now, it's kind of flat. They're not going to go anywhere or do anything. So if I do that, whoop, see, it's still stable, which is good. I mean, that's what we want. We want it to be stable, but how do we get this thing to jump? Now, I was thinking maybe if I remove these... And then just have, <laughs> this is gonna be so weird, have these attached to the outsides of every single one, even the top, then it they might flail upwards and we can get a rocket going? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You guys give me the suggestions, but no, nope. whoa, 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 don't blow up on me. You don't give me any way to do it. You just say, hey, make a rocket ship. And some of them, hey, so <laughs> that one just flung itself to the side. We got a dancer in the middle here. He's kind of doing the jig. Uh, wow, that was the best of Evolution 1, huh? That one, that's the best. But some of them are standing. Hey, look at the standing one. That's the best one in my opinion. Oh my word. So let's do this a little bit differently. It looks kind of like Rocket, right? What I'm thinking is if I have a platform down here that's stable, and then if I put in a bunch of legs like these guys, and if I have all these legs that are flailing up and down, it might be able to launch us. Because if they all go at the same time, then it should propel us into space. Um, <laughs> they're, they're standing. They're all standing. What are they doing, though? <laughs> okay, that's not... It doesn't... I mean, it's trying to walk. Do I have it on running or walking? I have it on jumping. Okay, it's not, it's not jumping very, very well. No, nobody's jumping. So I took out that stabilizer and I put this connected up in the middle. Whoa. See, it's still not, it's still not jumping right. All right, we're 25 generations in and it's gotten creepy. It's gotten creepy up in here. <laughs> They're moving. It's kind of rocketing, sort of. Some of the legs, wooey. <laughs> it kind of looks like a jellyfish in a way. I'm wondering what would happen if I removed or made it taller. If I made the legs longer or the height of it taller, if that would in <laughs> increase, is it still falls over. And I'm wondering if it falls over initially because of those things in the middle. If I made different bones across or alternated it, instead of having this one here, state that one, if I made that bone go this way instead, it might work. And if I make these longer, if I move you guys down just one. So something like that. Uh, maybe maybe a little longer, I'm not sure. Let's just see. <laughs> I can't even tell what's going on. Some of them flopped right away. Some of them are really smacking, smacking the ground hard trying to move. 
Uh, that might have been too much. <laughs> it turned upside down. <laughs> what is it doing? So here's the idea. Instead of maybe having more lift, because it's getting stuck on those longer ones, what happens if I extend the rocket up a few pieces? And then I could delete maybe two of those on each side. And then connect the muscles all the way up the tower. So these little legs back here might be strong enough to lift it up. Whoa! We've got a bad Apollo mission here. <laughs> they tip over. Okay, did any of them stand? No, none of them. St that's the best you've got to offer, huh? Generation, generation set five, five. Here it goes. Wee! <laughs> it's not working. A rocket is not making. Oh, crush it! Oh, hey, that one kind of. Whoa! Hey, hey, that one did it. We got a launch. It launched. Um, sort of. Now fling itself all at once. Generation, what happened to that last one though? Generation six, it flew way up into space. I gotta go back, let's look at this. Six, yeah, average speed, 71. Okay, ready? And it, it'll just disappear in a second. And 100% fitness, and then it, oh, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, that one worked really well. And that's what we want, is for it to blast off. All right, so it's really wide. Uh, my thought is that it'll go down It'll hit the ground and then it might launch itself up. Oh, I have no idea what happened. Some of them are look like they're bouncing though. So there's a common theme in all of these best of the generation is they crumple right down in that middle third. Like right down in here, they crumple. I'm wondering if I make the bones go up a bit higher, like do a double structure as well. Except I'm not, it's not tall enough to do that. They're all crunching right in here. So I'll do the X pattern through it. Does that work better? I have no idea. So some of these are launching themselves up pretty well. Hey, that one worked. <laughs> it, it worked. It went up, uh, I guess, two meters. Whoop. This one went negative from me. How is that supposed to be good? <laughs> good at jumping. I guess the fitness is going perfectly because it's a speed or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, get, get back up. So I'm also thinking if I do like boosters on the sides that are made out of the springs, like we kind of tested. Whoa, that one did good. <laughs> they fly up. It tips over. Okay, so let's try instead of these on the bottom, we're going to delete these up. And uh, we're going to try boosters on the sides. Now, I don't think this is going to have enough power, but I just want to know if it's going to fall down and stay. It kind of did. Yeah, there's nothing that's holding it up. <laughs> They're tipping over. That didn't work right, or did it? Yeah, it tips over before, I bet. I bet if we were, you know what? We could just make like a rover instead because I feel like this would work if it was a little shorter. So let's try this. It has a little head. Is it gonna bounce? Hey, something's working. The limbs are a little bit too long. It's amazing. It's amazing. We have created science. This might be the first real animal that I've built intentionally that's working. This is supposed to be like a rover, but I mean, it was supposed to be a rocket ship. Okay, <laughs> so maybe, maybe I'm a little bit off of what I want. Where, where's my mouse pointer? Why can't I never find my mouse pointer in this game? There it is. Look at him go, look at him go. He's jumping, he's running. He's got decent speed. He's, make, he's making good time. It looks really good. We've done something. We've successfully succeeded in something in this game. <laughs> hey, look at him go. I'm gonna let this run for, whoa. I'm gonna let this run for a long time and we'll see what happens with it. All right, guys, I've been away a little bit. I came back and, uh, well, I could do like some other YouTubers do and drop, jump the generation time down to one second and then pretend I did a thousand generations of something serious, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> this is set to jumping, remember? So our little Martian rover is jumping. Uh, we're at 250, generation 250. I think that's pretty good. He's learned to jump pretty well. I think if we were to let him go for, well, that's also a problem. Those limbs going nuts. Um, I think if we were to let him go for another couple thousand generations, he would just bounce straight up and down uh, until those legs go and then it, it's broken. But look at this mess. <laughs> it's just a big mess. This is set to jumping, if you guys remember right. Can I, can I go back? Let's save this. Yeah, saved. Okay, we saved it. All right, so if I go back, there we go. And I turned on, so I can load simulation now? Yeah, creature jumping, perfect, cancel. Uh, I could go to running and I could try something similar to that. I don't know what it would do. I would probably start moving pretty quickly though, I think. It does look like its right leg here is impeding it. So if I turn those legs around, I think I can do that. 
just go like that and like oh boy maybe not eh, well, I mean we could try it might work oh I need to undo those if I turn that leg around I think this will work a little better I think it should do pretty well whoop some of them are starting to bounce can't tell yeah it's kind of like a, a jumping hippo okay let's see what the first one does Ooh, that leg that leg is a problem <laughs> anyway guys I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video of evolution if you have some more suggestions of things you would love me to try out go ahead and drop them down below I'm kind of out of ideas now uh, so I definitely need some more ideas anyway thanks for watching and keep a stick on the ice we'll catch you next time